Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to another vlog. I am grabbing my coffee and getting set up for schoolwork today. Um, today's vlog is sponsored by Simply Safe. I'll share more about them later. But yeah, this is just basically what we do every morning. Now, some mornings I do this in my pajamas, not fully dressed, but today I happen to have other things to do, so I got dressed for the day already. But I'm gonna grab the kids and some fresh banana muffins that my mom brought over this morning and uh, get started on our school day. Hey y'all, welcome back to another vlog. We're about like halfway done with school. We still got a little bit more to do, but we're gonna do lunch. And well, actually we're a little bit more than halfway. That's not the point, okay? That's neither here nor there. The point is we're gonna do a little bit more Christmas decorating today. Yay! Um, so I did, I've done a lot of the indoor decorating. Um, there's still a couple of things that I need to get because I feel like I wanna change some of the indoor decorations, which is never a good thing, you know? It's just. But I realized that uh, last year, you know, we didn't have all of the animals that we have now at Christmas. And we didn't have the barn, we didn't have the garage, we didn't have my office. And I kind of want to at least do a little bit. There's so much that could be decorated here, okay? I could Christmas the crap out of this place, okay? I could Christmas-fy this, the, I mean, my mind just can go wild with Christmas decoration ideas at this farm. I gotta take it slowly. And like, so year by year, I wanna add things. So like last year I added all those shepherd's hooks with the lights to do the driveway lit up um, all the way since it's a very long driveway. Um, I added that last year. Well, added everything basically because we just moved here, but you get what I'm saying in terms of like bigger items. And um, this year I purchased, we're gonna see, they're supposed to be delivered today, or I'm, I'm supposed to be able to pick them up today. We'll see, I've got a few things to go pick up, but. I got some wreaths for the windows. I didn't get enough for all the windows because I wanted to make sure they were decent quality because they were really affordable. So I'm like, mm, are these gonna be crap? Uh, and I think what I wanna do is decorate at least a little bit of the outside of the chicken coop. Last year I put a few decorations in the barnyard and I did get a very large wreath to go on the horse barn. So we've got some decorating to do, people. We've got some decorating to do. I've got all my outdoor decorations in the garage, so I wanna work on that. And I also, I've got the tree, so I wanna get the tree and some of the decorations done out here in the homeschool area, cabin, office area. I wanna get some of those things done. And I do want to make a plan and get to the front porch, but the pumpkins are still, most of them are still very much alive and I just can't bring myself to, um, and so are some of the mums. So like, I can't bring myself to throw all that out or like, I'm gonna bury the mums and we're gonna take the pumpkins, we're gonna break the pumpkins and take out the seeds to save for planting for next year. And then we're gonna feed the insides of the pumpkins to the um, barnyard animals and the chickens and all the, all the animals, ducks, chickens, all of that. Um, we've also got an injured duck. I'll show you her. She's being quarantined, um, sequestered, if you will, inside the barn, inside one of the stalls in the barnyard. She's got a hurt foot. She's the biggest of the white ducks that we added. And she's got a hurt foot. She's limping. And, you know, just to keep this PG, the male ducks are taking advantage of her um, inability to run away. <laughs> and so I just felt like every time I came out here, she was hanging out with the boys, if you know what I mean, and she didn't look like she wanted to be there, if you know what I mean? So we just were like, let's separate her, see if we can give her leg time to heal so she's got a fighting chance against those two. I mean, Fern the blind duck, I tell you what. I tell you what. Anyways, much to do, let's go. This was the tree that was in our bedroom, but I'm gonna put it out here in the office school room. Mm. How's that sound, like a good plan? Mm. No, oh, I'm glad you agree. Okay, don't mind the flower in my hair. That was brought to me by the children and they will lose their minds if I take it out. So I have to leave it in my hair. As I mentioned in the beginning of this video, today's vlog is sponsored by Simply Safe. Y'all listen, okay, hear me out. We have tried many different home security systems and this one is the easiest to set up and use. I did it, I did it, not Christopher. It's so 
easy. If I can do it, I mean, a monkey could do it, okay? It's that simple to set up. So Simply Safe basically just focuses on really good tech, really good customer service, and creating reliable products that work. There's not like a huge lengthy ordering process, having someone come out and set all this up. It's super simple. You can go on their website, select the different devices, so you can basically completely customize your home security for whatever you need. Again, our needs are kind of unique because we're out here on this farm, we have lots of kids and animals, so we need a system that we can customize to make it work for us and our family and the property and just kind of all the things we have going on out here. And they've got sensors that cover basically every window, room, door, uh, plus you can do all kinds of extra cool different sensors like water sensors, smoke detectors, you can do HD cameras. Y'all know like upstairs we have the room that has the sun porch on it. It's made me nervous ever since we moved here that somebody could technically try to get in because there's an exterior door that goes into the bedroom and windows and all of that. I was able to put that thing on like Fort Knox up in that room. I was able to do the door sensor so that I get a notification if that door is opened. I also did a glass break sensor up there and this is really cool. It sits in the corner of the room. It will basically sound the alarm if it detects glass breaking. So it's listening for a very particular sound. It's not just going to be like kids screaming and playing. It's listening for a very specific sound um, of glass breaking and of course will then sound the alarm. So I feel like that room is 100% secure now. So I set up the home base and then you set up the keypad that goes at your main door. And this keypad, you also kind of take it around with you while you're setting up each of the different devices. Like I said, you can do CO2 monitors, smoke detectors, entry alarms, motion detectors, glass breaking detectors. We also now put in an HD camera in the playroom that kind of sits in the corner so that we can monitor that room at all times. We even did a keypad lock on the door so that now we can also use a pin to get in the house if we happen to not have a key. And we will definitely be adding probably a few of these, but Simply Safe just launched a new outdoor security camera. Basically, it has like an ultra wide 140 degree um, field of view. So you can watch a huge part of your yard. It's got a built in spotlight and also like color night vision. So you can kind of see what's happening, even if it's dark outside. And there's two way audio. So you can speak through the camera if there's someone on your property. And of course, you can monitor this whole thing through the app on your phone. You can change the settings to be home, away, or off. Um, you can check on your cameras, view your cameras, you can change things, do any, everything you need to do and all the monitoring you need to do, you can do within the app. And of course, the interactive monitoring service will call the police if they're alerted to anything. And like I said, the team is professional and they're easily reachable, always on call. Sometimes the interactive monitoring can be kind of the most expensive part of doing a home security system, but Simply Safe's interactive monitoring service is as low as 50 cents a day. Y'all can save 50% or more on your Simply Safe security system during their biggest sale of the year. So just go visit simplysafe.com slash this gathered nest to learn more. I also think this is great if you live in a rental or an apartment because nothing that you're doing is uh, permanently damaging anything as far as like installing in the walls and everything, the keypad, all of that um, is removable. So you can totally use this if you're in an apartment, a dorm room, a rental home, and you don't want to do any damage, um, this is perfect. And of course, I'll put all that information down below in the description box for y'all to check out. All right, so I'm going to introduce you guys to somebody very special. So back in the spring, um, I started looking for a farm truck. I've wanted a, a vintage truck for years and years. But once we moved here to the farm, I felt like now I could truly justify having a farm truck, something we could put our logo on the side of. I'm hoping that eventually if we start um, doing some stuff at the farmer's market, if we start selling some flowers um, there and maybe we're gonna take some eggs there and just, you know, eventually if we have enough extra vegetables and stuff, we might start selling those there. But I am hoping that by like next spring, we'll be able to start selling some stuff at the local farmer's market. So I've kind of had it on my wish list for a long time to get some kind of a vintage farm truck that uh, we could use for that purpose. And then I could also use it for, you know, when I'm going to pick up um, gardening stuff, flowers and bags of soil and things like that, that I don't have to put in the back of my car. And, uh, but we didn't need like a full truck, like a big, you know, um, like F-250 or F-150 or, you know, something like that, because we've got the NV if we ever need to pull anything. And my dad has a truck if we need to pull the horse trailer and such. So I didn't want to get like a newer truck. I've been on the hunt since like the spring and I've looked at a few different things and 
just never really found the one. It had to be the right mix of you know, being a, you know, a cool vintage truck, but also like running well. And I didn't want something that was going to be something that was constantly breaking down that we were having to work on and stuff. So it had to be in good condition as well. And that can be kind of tough to find, especially because there's a lot of like vintage car collectors who really restore these trucks and like bring them back to their original life and stuff. And then at that point, charge a lot of money for them and stuff. So long story short i finally uh, found this truck purchased it it's been a couple months now you might have seen it in the background of videos here and there but i never like formally introduced her to you um because of course you know i had to name her so found this truck now it's uh let me, let me show you let me introduce you i named her jolene and i'm betting you can guess why here she is she is a 1969 chevy c10 and you know, I love this like emerald green color. It's actually the color's called Glenwood Green, uh, but isn't she just beautiful? I love her. Uh, one of the things that like sold me on this one as well is um, the wood here, and you can't see it because I'm full of Christmas decorations in the back, but it's a wood bed, and I'm gonna add the wood side rails to it that go right here. Uh, so there's little things that I can do, but it's in really good condition. It runs well. Now, she's not fancy, okay? I've got a blanket in here from when we did our family pictures, but it's just a bench seat. Uh, there is no air conditioning, no heat, no power steering. This is a 1969 truck and um, it drives like one. But listen to this when you fire this beauty up just let's just have a listen okay oh yeah she's a real beaut clark she's a real beaut so there's like fun things that i can do and you know i can order there's a few parts that i'd like to change out um because they're not in you know some of the buttons and stuff i can replace some of these things um like some of these buttons here that are old and kind of scratched up obviously they're old it's from 1969 plus they make now a stereo that I can change this out for that looks just like this one on its face but you pull it down and it's got like USB-C and uh, USB so you can actually like listen to music on your phone or whatever but it's just a bench seat plain basic old truck and I absolutely love her I named her Jolene I'm betting you can guess why mostly because she's green What's really cool is that this is actually a three-speed truck or what they call a three on the tree so there's no gear shifter down here you just have this here and it's got three speeds so you know you've got your clutch down here and you put it in uh, reverse and then down for first up and back for second and down for third which is really fun to drive and I know like a lot of people go and you know put power steering in and make these automatic and all of that I don't want to do that only thing I'd like to do is add heat and air a lot of these do come with heat but this one just didn't so there's no heat there's no air um, I would like to add those two things but I'm gonna and I might add power steering maybe but I kind of like no power steering but I'm definitely not converting it to an automatic I'm keeping it as a three on the tree because I think that's great for the kids to learn to drive first of all I think every person should know how to drive a manual transmission my uh, not my first well the first car I ever had was an old Chevy um, Cavalier and that was a manual but I actually learned how to drive a manual on my dad's old 1980 Stingray Corvette which was not an easy car to drive um, as a as a stick shift because that's like an old sports car so uh, just very heavy clutch hard to hard to drive but so I kind of got my manual driving chops on that old Corvette so I love love manual cars and if it made sense for me to have one I would because I just love them um, compared to an automatic but this is her this is Jolene and eventually I'll have the farm logo um, put on the side I love her and I'm actually gonna drive her down to the bottom of the driveway um, to go put my Simply Safe sign at the front of the property to let people know we got security. What you doing? Feeding the piggies a banana. Feeding pigs bananas? Yeah. They had some that were starting to, to turn. The pigs are growing on you, aren't they? These guys are, I mean, these ladies are awesome. 
They're good animals. They're good pets, huh? Ruthie's a little dramatic. She can be. You want belly scratch? Let's do belly scratch. <laughs> hey ladies. Want belly rub too? Hey ladies. Your friends? Saying hi to your friends? Hello. Hello. Okay. A lot of big big mouths right now. These two. They're buds. Hey girl, you okay? You okay? How's your foot? The problem is that she doesn't walk when we're in here, so I can't really yeah. see. It's hard to tell. Kinda looks better. Mm -hmm. Louie. King Louie. See how big these boys have gotten? They've yeah. gotten really big. Why are you standing next to me? Just walk over. Which I think is part of the reason that it looks you. like, gosh, uh, Mama Odie and Juju lamb. are getting Deal. chunky. I, I yeah. hope they're filling out a little better. I mean, look at Ray. You should see Ray Ray. Look at him on the dog. I know, he's huge. Oh, my gosh. She's packing on a little bit, too. She's cute. You want to be the show goat? You pretty girl? You want to be the show goat? Eliza, can you see her front feet are dangling while she's lifting herself up into the water bucket? Eliza! Yeah. Especially last night. Yeah, you need to be brushed. Especially right here. It's like it's on the lighter part today. I don't want to touch him once again. She's pulling on my coat. Wait, but it's right there. Dang it. All right, some of these pumpkins are rotten. So oh, let me see. I saw saw a couple of them. Yeah, are starting to rot. So we're gonna cut open a couple of them and take them to the barnyard, the pigs. I don't know if the goats will eat them, but the pigs and uh, the chickens and ducks as well. So we're just gonna kind of break them open. Hello. Should I go make sure peanuts not inside? Oh wait, no, I'll pour it out. Hey Fern. Fern, it's me. Fern. Hey buddy. There you go. See that? Oh, here. Let me just... You got it? What's that? Look at that. Yum. 